Shalom and welcome to all Hyperians that are leaving Morgue Official like crazy because the guy is just a freak show religious guy that's raking in the money that is so friggin' cowardly he will not answer a call for a debate on how to bring unity in the world and that is the platform that he supposedly started his channel with so he's proving himself to be nothing but a hypocrite out there he's got a million dupes out there stupids following a guy who can lead them nowhere except a brick wall and so in this hour i am a hyperion with a way to get us to the promised land if people will but open their hearts and their minds to truest truth that Adam and Eve, if they were ever real, never had no belly button. How could they have? But semantics, it doesn't matter what you do or do not believe, lest any man boast. What matters is that we keep our heart alive with love for each other. If we cannot love each other whom we can see even if there is or was not another god or gods out there we could not love him if we cannot love those whom we can see we could never love a god that we cannot and so may all the earth uh now stand tall because the dove's wishes have now come so may the earth and all that's in it reckon uh, that's all within the world to recognize the righteous judgments of love that shall now be coming forth from our most high God and judgment begins with the house of God because Christianity has always had a false God desolate heritages have we Isaiah 49 8 why because early Christians stole the Hebrew books then they said we are Israel and all the prophecies for us they've been standing on a covenant that God never gave until the latter days it says so in Jeremiah 31 1 uh, and they switched identities first they stole the Hebrew books then they said we are Israel and all the prophecies for us but the 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 if you google uh, uh, salvation and Israel you'll see that they are saved forever according to the Word of God and uh, the identities being switched just created more distortional understandings for the truest truth no one gets saved uh, we are saved unless we commit unforgivable sin of uh, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit to let Christ in us die right out which is to kick him out of us because he is our love lest any man boast it is not of our own self so uh, it is time that uh, I would hope with all of my heart that the reddest blood moon never becomes a mere crescent of falseness in the Lord's presence. And the Lord God, he is the presence of utter gospel truth. And his face is now shining the fullness of his love as his son of mercy aglow with adoration for all men comes forth to pour out his spirit upon everyone as a floodgate out of heaven and uh, say not to that flood of love to stop in the middle of your dried up valley where your your roots of your dead trees shall be ripped up from the root woe unto those rejecting this gospel of his dove's love for accursed are all those daring to embrace the partial light of their very own understandings we have leaned unto our own understandings far too long now we must uh, do what the word of god has always said committing us to a world of equality committing us to a world where there is no condemnation from us upon one another and so it's time to welcome the fullness of love's greatest presence there is no greater light than our lord god who is the shining star of stars the truest star of bethlehem and i am the messenger from the north of isaiah 41 if canada counts i'm sure it's not russia one thing for sure, our Lord of always, his countenance is like a collapsing star, all ablaze unto all those standing not in the darkness of their very own lack of knowledge that embraced like their most favorite pillow. So let damnation now be sent across all lands from that Father of lights uh, and his light of lights unto all embracing ignorance as their God. For there has never been any darker gross darkness than the ignorance of his love alone. 
and in the, this hour of Daniel 12 and uh, Revelation 12's uh, removal of Satan, Beelzebub, uh, Mephistopheles, the devil, uh, he alone used to be the brain-dead father of all stupidity, but now all people embracing obsolete religion, unloving religion, they will be the new stupids operating in stupidness quite well. And know that blessed are all those continuing to be true unto themselves and unto all those who would never imagine even trying to lie unto God. Let him be true and all men liars. And know in this hour that if you understand that, you could never be deceived. Uh, and so, nor could any such truth uh, lead uh, souls to places where they can forget uh, the most amazing way that the brightness of our reigning Lord of always is and he lights up the darkness uh, so that we can feel the most pleasant, tranquil, serene bliss of his blissfulness and that is only felt through his love alone. And so the Lord wants his own to hear him well now. And accordingly, with a very real divine smile, the Lord uh, looks to Morg official and says unto him, Tinkle, tinkle, uh, Metrodden, <laughs> as it was written in the book of Daniel, your days are numbered, Morg. You have been dethroned by the Spirit of love, says the Spirit of prophecy, unto that guy who shall be yesterday's news and uh with a real divine smile the lord is saying to all modern man that we should know such pe peaceful love of his with our minds while desiring his greatest loving peace with our hearts as we fulfill such hope manifested in the disciplines of our bodies. And most fortunate are all those of such loving faith whose endless love will serve us all as a guide unto serenity's most tranquil tranquility so that the peace within our minds might teach us to soar far above the highest realms of the Lord's most lofty angels so that we can mount up on eagle's wings by the most regal eagle of the eons as the dove of love transforms. And so in this hour, it's time to have a gathering of loving souls. And nor should any of those uh, who are serene souls, nor should they ever be able to deny that the Lord God Almighty's meeting place within anyone uh, has always been within our hearts. And uh, in a very small, still voice, he calls unto each of us as the roaring lion of Zion who whispers uh, as softly as a eeny, weeny, teeny, itty bitty whispering a roar of a, that lion who is purring like a little kitten. And now does the Lord want to speak unto all those who are standing still so they too can see the salvation of love. So consequently, most foolish are all stupids uh, who will not be uh, obedient unto our love, who is the beloved. And so in this hour, it is time to go full circle with our understandings and realize more than ever that the Lord is now in control and he shall silence all fools with nothing but grunge in their mouth who are far too busy to ever pay any attention to any quiet amidst all of their own useless noise like Morg official. He can't hear the well, whispering of anybody out there, his brain is rattling around like a like a, a a hamster wheel with nothing happening on the inside. So people need to stop and smell the roses and leave that that uh, uh, he who is a devil. Uh, Jesus called Peter a devil, and I can call you a devil, more. You are a devil, and you are as your father, Lucifer, uh, who has been removed for 1,000 years in accordance with Daniel 12, 1. And so uh, in this hour, it is time that the world know that I was called to serve our Lord uh, 
from the time that I was but a child. And the Lord has done wondrous works within my heart. I should have died uh, many, many years ago. Um, when I was 18, 16 actually, I was sniffing glue and I passed right out. I would have died right then. But the Lord uh, gave my sister a vision. And so it came to pass in a moment of stillness that the Lord God Almighty spoke and directed my mouth by his word. And he opened up uh, my heart by his brightest light of glory. And he has now caused me, who uh, I am a son of the Gentiles, to reveal all the error that's been found in the darkest of minds and the darkest of hearts uh, of many multitudes who will now cringe as they harshly condemn these words of enlightenment that were penned for their very own benefit. So it's time for lamentation, lamentation over frightened stupids. For the religiosity of many devils plunged, um, has plugged their ears, smiting such fools with spiritual deafness over any words elevating the Lord beyond his highest heavens that reflecting the sapphire sea, the crystalline bottomless blue ocean of the forgetfulness of his forgiveness. And what a sight that is to behold as the new Jerusalem comes forth. And so it's time the changes are coming to turn darkness into light and light into darkness. That'll change bitter into sweet and sweet into bitter. Woe unto such hypocrites that will not heed the word of God. For it's a time of rebuke and judgment does start at the house of God. So damn therefore indecision and double-mindedness of all those wanting heaven-sent visions from eyes that could finally see the truth uh, on the outside of the very worst error that any paranoid child of happiness could ever have. Damn therefore all the lack of faith and the goodness of our truest reality who is love. For our divine day star has many untold names, a name by any other name. Uh, he who is sh as sugar is just as sweet. For he is our ancient of days, and without any doubt that majesty of majesties has far too many divine titles to ever be included here. And so realize that light is truth, darkness is falseness, victory is obedience, and defeat is disobedience. And ignorance has always been Satan, Diablo, Mephistopheles, until his end time removal, as it is written in, in Revelation 12. So know therefore that God is knowledge, and without knowledge many shall be destroyed, as Habakkuk says, and as I say, uh, Daniel of Windsor, one from the north. And so in this hour, I adjure every single Hyperion born of another mother who have their love light left on to lead more as if your life depends upon it because it just might. And so come on back next time to the dove's stressed truth and what a truth it will be. It's time to go deep. And so until next time, treasure this world. It's a world of little birdies. Birds of a feather flock together. Morg is a vulture. He is a, 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 a carnivorous bottom feeder. He will eat the best road pizza out there. And he doesn't give a shit what kind of shit is mingled in there. He loves death. And death is his name. And it's time for life and put things of foolishness behind you. So bid adieu to he who is a spiritual coward, um, a, a man with no spiritual balls at all, a eunuch of the end times, is that lawless one dethroned big time right now because of his cowardice. Sorry, guy.